So let's talk about Newcastle for a moment, shall we, Dave? Because we've talked about them quite a lot on this podcast this season alone because of their ups and downs, their injuries. Um, and they are still in a good position to finish um, in a qualifying position for Europe. Um, their form lately has been much better since players have started coming back into the team. Some key players performing for them. Loads of players that, that stood out in this game as well, but it wasn't exactly difficult against Sheffield United. What do you make of their prospects? And do you think they've got a chance of kind of usurping Manchester United into sixth place based on both teams' form? I mean, the way things are heading at the minute, you've, you'd anticipate that, wouldn't you, I think? Um, I, I, I agree. I, I think if you look at it and you, you think they're a little bit more less unlucky in terms of the injuries they've suffered this season, I think you've got to wonder probably what could have been, whether mm. their season could have been um, a lot better than what it has. And I think they've struggled to display that kind of consistency at times. Um, yeah. You mentioned there they've been on a really good run of late, uh, minus the you know an indifferent performance in the week. Um, but they've actually responded really well um, this weekend and really put in a really positive performance. Again, ESAT looking absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Um, again, wondering if he hadn't had the uh, the injuries that he's had this season, how far he could have gone, how many goals he could have had, because he's been absolutely outstanding. I think this the foundations of this team, they've got a really strong core, actually, um, Newcastle. And like you mentioned there, what they can actually go on to achieve next season, whether they've got obviously recruitment plan in place, because that's been a little bit dis- disrupted with everything that's been going on with, with Dan Ashworth. Yeah. Um, and they're obviously very eager to get a new director of football in, aren't they? So it'll be interesting to see what goes on there. Yeah, you mentioned that um, looking ahead to next season, Dave, would be probably something that I think they'll have an eye on as well because no matter where they finish this season, I think what they do next season will be that momentum builder, won't it? It'd be great if they could get Europa League football for that momentum because I think we said on the pod about them last time, that's kind of the level they are sort of competitive at right now. And if they did have success in the Europa League, maybe that would be a catalyst for them to kind of kick on in the league as well. But Miles, looking ahead to next season and, you know, a summer of transfer activity, when they've got a full squad, Newcastle, they aren't, aren't a bad squad at all, really. I mean, they've got some players that there's a big drop off, I think, from the first 11 down to the next available mm-hmm. player. I think that's probably what they need to improve first, isn't it? Depth more than anything. But can mm. you see them being able to facilitate that? I think so, yeah. Like the depth is definitely the thing that's cost them across this season when injuries have hit them. The only thing will be whether FFP allows them to spend the money that we know they've got to bring it in without having to sell an asset. Because I'll be honest, Alexander Isak, what a player. And I, yeah. I would be very surprised if he wasn't getting attention from elsewhere because he's now got 19 goals in 26 appearances this season. Yeah, that's... that's... that's that's phenomenal form. It that comes out absolutely as outstanding. a goals per 90 ratio. Um, get this. This is, this is how competitive it is. There's 0.88 goals per 90. Um, Erling Haaland's on 0.85. Cole Palmer's on 0.83. So he's as prolific as those players. So by mm. rights, if he'd have played 10 more games, how many goals would he have? Yeah, it's crazy. He's been fantastic. Um, I wonder if they hold on to him, hold on to Gimaresh, get Tenali back. Are we talking about them just back in the top four next season? Because it, you cannot argue that their season is completely hinged on on the fitness of players. They've got four games left now, all of which look winnable. I mean, they, they've got an off chance of catching Spurs in fifth. And then all of a sudden we're talking about, this is a fantastic season and Eddie Howe's done an amazing job again. Yeah, I think that's the, the next question, isn't it? What's the measure of success for them this season? Do you think if they ended the season now and they finished in seventh as they are, would that be success considering all they've been through? Depending on what happens to the European places, mm. I think. if um, And it looks really unlikely. We didn't really mention this in the chat earlier about the coefficient. I think it would take Dortmund and Bayern losing both legs of their Champions League tie and Villa winning the Conference League to get England that fifth Champions League place now. It looks really unlikely. But if that happened and pushed Europa League down to seventh, that would be amazing for Newcastle, definitely. Um, But I'll be honest, I'm quite confident they're going to finish ahead of Man United. You've got each other to play, haven't you? And you cannot see United taking anything from that game and the way they're playing currently. So Newcastle finished sixth, get Europa League football... That's that's an excellent season when you've been contesting with the Champions League this year and yeah. the injuries you have. Like I'll be honest, if Villa squad got hit by that next season, I'd snap your hand off for sixth. 
yeah. if we're if we're in both those fronts. So yeah, I think it's I think it's been excellent from him. I think on balance as well, when you factor in the Champions League and actually how well they performed in that group of death, you, you have to look back mm-hmm. on that alone and go, what a great reintroduction to Champions League football for Newcastle, you know. 